And what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Cheap Ludes, and I'm here to talk about leaks. I know I'm a day early. 2K usually, uh, quote unquote, leaks something a day before the packs come out to generate hype, etc., excite the player base, whatever. But thanks to a South Korean post or website, I'm not entirely sure, um, we actually have access to what we're getting on Friday a couple days earlier. Now, let's take a look here. Basically, the rough translation of this, because it did have to be translated, and obviously, like, translating straight from, I believe, South Korean, I think, anyway. That's what somebody told me. I don't know if that's accurate. Like, who cares? It doesn't matter. Um, basically, the translation could be a little rough. So, you could purchase packs using VC and my team points, which are in-game currency. Yep. And you can get cards such as, I am going to butcher this name, Okay just accept that i'm gonna butcher this name ha sung jin hope i did okay uh david robinson trey young clay thompson john half havelcheck i just love how this is spelled uh glenn glenn rice it's not glenn dice and eric snow so in addition to that the website also featured this now this is where the translation comes from obviously like if i'm incorrect about the website i, I don't know what to tell you you know what i mean but we see ha sung jin right here 89 overall i don't know much about this basketball player you know what i'm it's weird because it i looked up when he played and it's honestly kind of shocking that I don't know who this person is because I seem to know every random basketball player that played in like 03, 04 for a little bit. I have never heard of this guy. Take a look at him real quick. I mean, he is uh, he's a YouTuber and a South Korean formal professional basketball player. So, okay, that's cool. So he's like a content creator or whatever. I wonder if he does my team stuff. That would be like super sweet. Either way, he is seven foot three, 305. Big boy. Okay. Now, I don't think we've ever seen this guy in a my team experience, or at least in the you know recent iterations of my team. So there's really no former players to draw on, or former cards, I should say, to draw on. If I am incorrect about that, let me know in the comments down below, but I don't think so anyway. My man was winning FIBA Asia championships and stuff. He was kind of nice. Um, he has a zero three-point percentage, so don't expect this guy to be shooting three-pointers. Maybe he has a decent mid-range. What jump shot they're going to give him, I have no idea. There's really no way to predict how good this card is and what he'll actually be able to do. Um, he's seven foot three and 305, so he'll bang in the post and he'll be able to block shots for sure. It's probably going to be kind of slow, but, I mean, it's really hard to tell. But, I mean, looking at the rest of it, this is kind of what you need to look at, right? We can tell that it is a flash set. Okay. We know that he is a regular flash card, and he is a ruby. So, we can check that right off. Bam. He's the ruby in this set. Okay. And he's a regular flash ruby. It's usually only one. We got David Robinson, Trey Young, Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson, I'm going to say it right now, in all likelihood, is either going to be a diamond or amethyst. That's just my thought on it. I would be willing to say he is probably going to be an amethyst um, and he'll probably be regular. Um, we could also see like a Clay Thompson that can dribble or something like that. Um, it kind of remains to be seen, I guess, though. Taking a look at Clay Thompson from 2K21 that we got around this same time. Uh, the earliest one we got, or at least is the one that's around the same time, would have been October 9th and it would be in the finals amethyst Clay Thompson. Now, if he's an amethyst, this would be pretty much on point for what he's going to look like, right? Like gold clamps, you know, decent defensive badges and stuff like that. Uh, pretty much every shooting badge, no finishing badges and playmaking. It's really hard to speculate when it comes to flash and glitch sets because you don't know if a player is going to be glitched. But if Clay Thompson is glitched, uh, he's either going to be glitched in the playmaking department or glitched in the finishing department. My bet would be on finishing because I think a dribbling clay would be a bit overpowered at this point. So they're probably going to Duncan Robinson him. Now, is he going to be a diamond? Is he going to be an amethyst? That's tough to say. I'm not entirely sure. If he's a diamond, though, expect him to have like four Hoff badges. Like instead of just Hoff catch and shoot, you know, he'll probably all Hoff blinders, corner specialist, maybe uh, probably like clutch shooter or something that would be my guess or if they want to go the way they did with like Matumbo 
he'll have uh hall of fame finishing badges instead he'll have like probably like posterizer maybe like limitless takeoff or something like that same with playmaking if they go that route which i hope they don't maybe he has like hall of fame unblockable maybe he has like hall of fame downhill tight handles etc so I, I don't know it's tough to say about him uh, Trey Young, honestly, that one's tough. We didn't really get a Trey Young uh, early game, at least as far as I can remember last year. At least one that would be like relevant to what we're talking about right now. Uh, I mean, we had the season two reward Trey Young, who was an amethyst. So I guess if he's like an amethyst, I think Trey Young will be glitched though. I- I'm pretty certain he's going to be the glitch card, and his glitch is either going to be that he dunks or plays defense. I'm not entirely sure which one. So. I'm not going to try to speculate on what Trey Young's going to look like. His release is really good this year. He'll have good shooting badges. He'll altogether be a really solid card. It just really comes down to what they do with his glitch. I I personally think he's going to be the glitch card. That would be my guess, though. It makes the most sense to me anyway. Uh, David Robinson. Okay, so we actually did get a David Robinson around this time last year. So, which we got him November 10th. Uh, I expect a carbon copy from 2K. Like expected this pretty much exact David Robinson. And honestly, if he has a 77 shot three pointer and if he has like catch and shoot and blinders and stuff like he'll be pretty good and set shooter. Like if he has the badges that he has on this card. Yeah, he's going to be a beast if he's not a pink diamond if he's a pink diamond expect him to be a little bit better i would assume that like maybe break starter goes to gold you know they take something and give it to him in hall of fame maybe like set shooter or uh defensive leader like intimidator rebound chaser or something they'll dial up a couple of the uh hall of fame badges for him if he's the pink diamond which i think he might be but it really kind of depends because i think Havelcheck has a good chance to be the pink diamond as well so looking at We did get a Havel check around this time last year as well. Um, I was going to type in Hav, which right there, November 10th. I mean, basically the same set last year. (laughs) Like, it's not really any different. So it wouldn't shock me at all for them to go with Pink Diamond, Havel check, Diamond, David Robinson. Now, this is a flash set, so it's entirely possible that one of these two guys is a glitch card. And... My guess is Havlicek's glitch will be finishing, like, if he is a glitch card. If he's not, he's just going to be this exact Havlicek, like, literally. Maybe they tweak his uh, release a little bit and give him something besides Jump Shot 17. I'll have to check what he has in 2K22 because it's probably going to be the same thing. But uh, if he is the regular Flash card, expect this exact, like, Havlicek, basically. Seven Hoff badges, 22 golds, two silvers, uh, relatively good across the board. Not too fast, not too slow. Pretty much overall solid. Like this card was super good when he came out. He just had kind of a whack jump shot. Like jump shot 17 last year on normal was not very good. It's like the Kron Butler base. I personally liked it, but a lot of people didn't. So I'm not really sure. I'm curious though, like what he has this year. Because we have the base set one. And they (laughs) jump shot 17 again. So I would expect them to give him a jump shot 17, which if you've used like Gus Garrard, Karan Butler, like Cliff Hagen, this release is a lot better this year. So he'll still be like a really good card. Now, Glenn Rice. Glenn Rice is pretty easy to look at. I mean, we have one right here from once again, November 6th, right around the same time we got him last year. If he's not a glitch card, he'll probably be an amethyst and be right around where this one was at. And aside from the lack of defense, this card was really good last year. I can't remember his jump shot. He had base 13, which he kept all year. So I would expect the same thing to happen. If we get a similar Glenn Rice card, like this card could be really, really good. I would use it for sure as like a budget wing. If he could play shooting guard, that would be sick. But I don't think we're at the point in the year where we're getting like shooting guard Glenn Rice's yet. That being said, if he has a similar set of badges, he'll be really, really, really good. It just kind of depends. Eric Snow is a weird one. Like, Eric Snow is a super weird one. I, because I know we have an Eric Snow card. Yeah, okay, so we have a base set guy. And he's got base 28, which is like the Rafe LaFrance, Moncrief, Mark Price, Gail Goodrich, Michael Cooper. It's like a pretty good release. Release 63 upper, same as Terrence Ross. It's pretty easy to time. And, like, he's a 6'3 point guard with a 6'6 wingspan. Doesn't sound really that great. 
But looking at just his gold card, like you can see that he's really solid defensively and has speed. So I would guess that he's probably going to get a glitched card and it's going to be one that can shoot. That would be my guess. And he may be a Ruby or an Amethyst. And if that's the case, we have an extremely good budget point guard. Now, will he be any better than like Murray or Drew Holiday? That remains to be seen. Also, it could be dunking. Dunking could also be his thing. So he could be, I mean, if it's dunking, they're just going to turn him into Derrick Rose, basically. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So I, I don't know. Uh, Eric Snow is going to be a tough one. I'm not trying to predict what their gem levels are because as we saw on 2K, or on 2K, as we saw on Tuesday, 2K could completely go the opposite direction. I said it then, like, if we had those packs leaked the night before, I would have had it flipped upside down. I would have assumed Aiton or Tyler Hero would have been the top card, probably Aiton, Pink Diamond, Tyler Hero, Diamond, and then et cetera. And they flipped it upside down. So honestly, this year, who knows, dude? We might get a glitched Pink Diamond Eric Snow. Like, I don't know at this point when it comes to 2K. Like, <laughs> for all I know, like, David Robinson's going to be an Amethyst or a Diamond. Clay Thompson will be an Amethyst or a Diamond. Maybe Trey Young's a Pink Diamond glitch card. Like, Havelcheck, maybe he's like a Diamond. Glenn Rice, Eric Snow, maybe they're Amethyst. I don't know. Also, it's a weird one, two three four five six seven seven's a weird amount like that is a weird amount i believe i'm gonna take a look at the last uh flash set we got because i'm curious how many cards were in the last two flash sets so it's been a little bit since we got a flash set right i think so yeah it's it's been a while so there was nine cards well eight technically in flash two we saw well i guess James Harden wasn't in Flash 2, so technically there was seven cards. Yeah, Halliburton, Crowder, Rodman, Pippen, Dominique, Isaiah, and Anthony Davis. I would expect a few more glitch cards because last time we only got Rodman and Isaiah as the glitch cards. So I would expect a few more this time. And then the first Flash 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We got eight that time, so... There's really no consistency in regards to the flash, but the first set, we got way more glitch cards. I mean, we got four and four. I would expect it closer to that. You know, maybe four regular, three glitch. It just kind of remains to be seen. My prediction anyway would be Trey Young for sure glitched. So let's go through it again real quick. He is obviously not glitched, so we know that. David Robinson is regular, uh, whether he be a diamond, ping diamond, etc. He is a normal card. I don't think he's glitched. We are not at the point in the year when we need glitch David Robinsons as of yet. So two non-glitch. Trey Young is absolutely going to be glitched. Um, I would say that's my thought anyway. So one glitch. Clay Thompson. I'll say he's glitched. I'll say he's a glitch Clay Thompson, right? So we're rocking one, two, one, two. Two and two, basically. Havelcheck, regular, I would say. So a three. Glenn Rice, regular. Eric Snow, glitched. So four and three. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, what would you want to see? We'll know more information later tonight. It just kind of depends. Like, we don't, you don't ever know with 2K, you know? So as always, been your boy Cheap Ludes. I'm about to stream in a little bit. So, you know, definitely come check me out over there. Um, yeah, comment down below, man. Who are you excited for? I, I'm excited for uh, Eric Snow, believe it or not, dude. Eric Snow hasn't gotten like a tight card in my team in ever. So I'm kind of interested to see what they're going to do. He's just kind of a weird card to be in the promo pack. So I don't know, man. Let me know what you think. Drop a like on this video, comment down below, and I will see you guys later. Peace.